A peristaltic pump is a positive displacement pump used for pumping a variety of fluids. The fluid is contained within a flexible tube or hose fitted inside a circular casing, therefore also referred to as a tube or hose pump. The peristaltic pump works through the principle of a series of rollers, shoes, or lobes, squeezing a tube against the pump housing as they rotate around the rotor inside the pump body, in a similar way that we swallow food. As the rotor turns, the part of the tube under compression is pinched closed or occludes, thus forcing the fluid to move through the tube. As the roller moves over the tubing, it expands and creates a vacuum to allow more fluid to enter. Therefore, the need for valves is eliminated. As we mentioned before, every peristaltic pump comes with flexible hoses or tubes, giving an open flow path, which gives a high resistance to abrasion and permits the easy flow of solids and viscous media. Then, what's the difference between hose pumps and tube pumps? Tube pumps are perfect for lower flow rates. They are fully programmable. Designed for lower flow and lower pressure applications, they are typically equipped with dry casings and use rollers, along with non-reinforced tubing, with the option of multiple pads. Hose pumps are perfect for pumping highly solid content. They handle higher pressures, which can typically operate against up to 16 bar in continuous service. The high degree of flexibility enables hoses and tubes to handle slurry, viscous chemicals, shear-sensitive polymers, and other abrasive fluids. The peristaltic pump tube is critical in determining the pump's characteristics. Special tubing has been developed for peristaltic pumps and is generally based around thermoplastic elastomers. Typical peristaltic hose or tube materials range from silicone over thermoplastic vulcanizate or PVC to fluoroelastomeric materials. Silicone is commonly used when non-aggressive media need to be pumped. TPV combines the easy processability of polypropylene with the elastomeric properties of EPDN. When more chemically corrosive media need to be pumped. Fluoroelastomeric materials can be used. Additionally, the tube must be correctly sized for a specific peristaltic pump. The tubing size should always stay within the internal diameter range specified for a particular peristaltic pump series. And the wall thickness of the tube is critical since the internal dimensions of the pump are designed to occlude the tube. When maximum tube lifetime is key, a tube with a larger inner diameter and low motor speed is advantageous. When the application requires high accuracy, the tubing should have a minimal inner diameter and motor speed should be high. For pumping viscous liquids, tubes should have higher wall thickness to ensure quick recovery of the original shape. What are the peristaltic pump motor types? The rollers are turned either directly by a motor or by a gearbox. Common motor types for peristaltic pumps include brushed direct current (DC), brushless direct current (BLDC), alternating current (AC), or stepper motors. Usually, DC and BLDC motors are used together with a gearbox to set speed depending on the flow need. For the greatest accuracy and controllability, a peristaltic pump is most often driven directly by a stepper motor because such motors allow the user to precisely control peristaltic pump speed. Flow rates are proportional to motor speed. This makes peristaltic pumps suitable for depensing and dosing applications. A peristaltic pump doesn't have valves, seals, and glands. And it's an inexpensive pump to maintain. Simply by flushing the tube with a neutral media or replacing the tube, you can get a perfectly functioning device once again. Hence, industrial peristaltic pumps and medical peristaltic pumps are among the most popular applications for tube pumps. Another feature, maybe the most outstanding feature of the peristaltic pump, is that the only point of contact the pump has with the fluid or chemical. 
is the interior of the tube, minimizing the risk of cross-contamination, which is an important requirement in many high purification applications such as metering, dispensing, and other medical or analytical processes. Apart from the preceding distinctive advantage, peristaltic pumps are also ideal for use with corrosive and viscous fluids depending on the tube material. They are able to handle slurry, viscous chemicals, shear-sensitive polymers, and other abrasive fluids. Since their flow rates are proportional to the motor speed, peristaltic pumps are suitable for dispensing and dosing applications. Other benefits of peristaltic pumps include dry running, self-priming, and reversible. How are peristaltic pumps used? Peristaltic pumps are used in a variety of industries. Typical applications for peristaltic pumps include medicine, agriculture, food processing, chemical handling, pulp and paper plants, water and wastewater treatment plants, and more. Speaking of examples, in the mining industry, they are often found pumping slurry with high solid content. And for sewage facilities, they are usually used to handle highly abrasive, gritty, and viscous fluids. Of the medical device industry, peristaltic pumps are used for processing sterile fluids, dialysis, filtration, or bioprocessing. The tube pumps are used more for chemicals or in the laboratory setting. In food, agriculture, or disinfection markets, they're used for dispensing food or beverages, vitamins, or chemicals. The environmental sector uses hose pumps for wastewater treatment or condensate removal in gas analysis applications. For quality peristaltic pumps, please visit ATO.com. ATO offers a wide variety of pumps featuring sophisticated designs for pumping both liquid and gas at different rates. Explore our catalog to find the proper type that best suits your creative projects, and shop for that pump today at the most favorable price.